Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we are going to take a look at a new Space Marine Gravis Captain, allegedly the first one since June 2017. You may have detected a hint of snark in that little intro. Um, so yeah, basically, yesterday there was a teaser. There was a little teaser image of what looked like a space marine with a chainsaw. And they immediately revealed what that was today. Luckily, just before I started to record today's video, which means that I didn't miss it this time. I actually am slightly up to date with what's going on. There's a first time for everything. There is, however, something that's made me laugh about this. Now, to be honest, this model looks fine. And in a way, in a way, what they've said is kind of accurate, sort of, because this is actually a Gravis Captain with a Bolt Storm Gauntlet, the first one since Dark Imperium. But it did make me laugh, just because when I, in the reveal article, it says the last time that we saw a Captain in Gravis armor was back when the Dark Imperium box set launched. Well, that's awkward. I just feel bad for this lad now. I mean, there he is, a captain in Gravis armor, completely ignored, completely ignored, unloved, shunned, clearly the red-headed stepchild, the, the adoptee of the Space Marine captain's family. There he is, in all his Gravis armored glory, and yet not so much as a hint of recognition in the article. I just feel bad for the lad, you know? I just feel bad for him. And yeah, I know it's a data sheet thing. One of them is a captain in Gravis armor, the other one is a captain with a heavy bolt rifle, but still, it made me laugh. Anyway, what the actual reveal is, is this lad, who, to be honest, is quite a cool looking Gravis captain. I will give him that. And uh, it is nice to see the old the old gut plate make a return. Not quite as prominent as the uh, Dark Imperium one, of course, which was famous for its gut plate. I actually quite liked it. Quite like the lad. Almost like a bit of a silverback gorilla, in a way. Although, whether that's what you want out of your Space Marines is entirely a different matter, let's be honest. Overall, overall, I quite like it. I do quite like it. It's not too busy. It's not too overblown. There's, there's a bit of fancy going on, but it's not, like, in your face. It's not absolutely mad with uh, extra details. Just the odd little bit here and there to make him stand out. There is just something very intimidating, very girthy about Gravis armour, which, of course, makes me quite like it. It's hard not to like a lad with a bit of girth on him. I actually find it a bit funny that they've gone for the uh, servo school route, because when I messed about with my Gravis Captain from Dark Imperium, um, which I should really paint at some point, that'd be good, wouldn't it? I gave him a servo skull, <laughs> because I quite like the idea of him having one. Um, or at least some sort of thing on a cable. I'll have to dig him out and have a look. But I like that that's made it into the actual model. That's a nice little nice little touch there, which I'm 100% certain they did not get from me, because why would they? That would have been something that's been planned for ages. But it's just nice to see it on an official thing, given that one of the first things I did when I saw the lad is go, you know what? I, I, reckon a, I reckon a bit of floaty nonsense would look good on this. Clearly they agreed, because look where we are now. Of course, special mention has to be made of The Rock. <sighs> Standing on The Rock. We are, we're, 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 we're used to it. We're well used to it at this point. We know the deal. We know that it, we've got to have a bit of rock action on uh, as many models as possible. It'd be nice if we were standing on something else. Just a bit of girder. You know what? Spice it up. Variety is the spice of life. Chuck a girder under a foot. A little bit of scrap metal. Maybe a gun. Maybe like a, like a discarded, snapped-in-half bolter. Hell, stand on a pile of skulls. Might think it's a little bit cornate, but let's be honest, the Imperium is also run on blood and skulls. So let's just have just just a little something like maybe maybe mold it so it's like less a rock and more just like bumpy uneven ground that would work too but we do of course have to stick with the rock for the moment i think that's actually not a badly done face as well it's a very well painted face i have to say that's a very well painted face he looks suitably angry but let's be honest you can't beat you can't beat the helmet i think the gravis helmet is one of the best helmets that they've done it's super chunky it's like I don't know, the little, like, rebreather things on the side, I don't know what they are, elf air filters? Are they even air filters? Because there's like a tube that comes out of the bottom of the mouth that goes into the armour, so I don't even know what they are, I don't care about the function of it, really don't care. It just looks great, it looks awesome. And, I mean, again, I think this is improved by having the helmet as opposed to having the bare head. I think it is fair to say that this is a decent looking space marine. This is a decent looking space marine. They've said that he'll be available soon, so it looks like it's not going to be any sort of like uh, any sort of like limited release or timed thing or exclusive thing. I think this is just a guy that we're going to be able to get 
essentially forever and a day, which is exactly what I want. I don't want no limited edition Gravis Captain anymore because we had enough issues with that, with the original guy being in Dark Imperium and then never available separately. Make it so you can buy stuff properly and don't have to buy other stuff or have it go out of production for the love of God. Thank you very much. All in all, I'm going to give this lad a solid 8 purity seals out of 10. I'm only deducting 2 because, uh, because of the rock. And, I'll be honest, the little bullets, like the little bolt shells coming out of... The Bullets, bolt shells coming out of the bolt storm gauntlet. I just don't. I just don't like them. I just don't like those. I don't know what it is about them, but they just don't. I feel like you need a long string of them or some sort of effect around them. They just feel a little bit, a little bit randomly sticky outy for me. But that's just me. You may well feel differently, as you are, of course, entitled to do. What do you think of this, lad? Let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things, Patreon, video, subscribe, all that stuff. Click it if you like, don't click if you don't want to. And as always, there's an affiliate link for Element Games in the description, which you can use to support the channel if you would like. If you are in the US, there is an affiliate link for Noble Knight Games. I leave it in your capable hands. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>